everybody. So Heather and I are going to do a quick dip into Kennywood. And we are going to try two of the food booths at the Bites and Pints Festival. So this will be video number one. And we will have a few more coming soon. And we're going to check out, today we're going to check out Greece and Ireland. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> We're also going to ride some rides, walk around, yeah, have some fun, but the park is only open for about two more hours, so. Which is like the perfect time to come. Yes. When you have like a season pass, because the park is pretty much empty and everything is like a walk-on. Yeah. All right. So let's go check out um, Greece and Ireland. We'll see you soon. Woohoo! Bye. So as you see, we have crushed it. Jackie gives it a four out of five. I give it a five out of five. The meat was juicy uh, was and soft. very soft. Yes, the pita was very soft. I only wish there was more sauce on it. But yes. as you can see, we had no problem finishing it. Okay, so we tried the gyro at Greece and it was amazing. Well, maybe not amazing, but it was really good. I think Heather gave it a five out of five and I gave it a four out of five. Yes, the meat was cooked really well. It was soft and juicy. Um, the only thing that I would say would have made it better, and everyone's gonna know this already, it needed more of more the sauce. sauce. And the sauce was really good. It just needed to have more on it. But the pita was really soft. Mm -hmm. It was really good. And like it was hefty. Like they put a lot on there. I was I was shocked. Yes. Overall, it was very good. Very good. So then we went to the Ireland booth. And we got the corned beef slider. The bread was too hard for me, and I didn't love, there was like a spicy brown kind of mustard mixed in with the Swiss cheese. But the meat was pretty good, but I think overall I only gave it like a two or something. What did you think, honey? I actually really liked it. Um, I thought the spicy mustard was actually pretty good. <laughs> um, I wish there was more of that and less of the melty Swiss cheese. Oh, really? Yeah, I would have really liked to have more of that mustardy favorite flavor. Um, the meat, again, was cooked really... You just don't like that type of meat, which I actually don't either, but the meat was actually cooked really well. Mm -hmm. And the bread that was on, it was really good. Um, did you like that little pickle that was on top? That little bumpy pickle? Oh, there was like a, yeah, there was like a little pickle on the top. It was pretty good, but it they was have a like... Name. I don't remember the name. Yeah, it, it'll be in the video, but it was pretty good, but it definitely has a different flavor. I thought presentation-wise, it looked really good. 
Like yeah. it was a really cool like looking sandwich. So then we also tried the bangers and mash. Now I don't like sausage of any kind. So I was like, no way. But Heather loves a good like hot sausage or breakfast sausage right here. So what did you think of the sausage? The sausage was pretty good. Um, you could tell that it was cooked really well. It was very soft. Um, the mashed potatoes could have been a little bit more fluffy, I guess. And the gravy was really good. I mean, it was a really good dish. Yeah, it was an onion gravy, and it actually wasn't bad. And the, yeah, the mashed potatoes were just kind of disappointing. They were so good though. Just like- the, They weren't what? They weren't like fluffy enough. Yeah. Like you could tell they weren't like homemade potatoes. So they just right. needed more potato flakes rather than if they cooked in water or milk, I don't know. Yeah, they could have been fluffier, maybe even like some butter on it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they weren't terrible, but no, they weren't great. No. But again, it was, it was a, I would definitely recommend. All three of these dishes, I would definitely recommend. Okay, the third item at the Ireland booth was a beef stew in an Irish soda bread. Now, first of all, to me, it looked really gross. And the bread was pretty hard. But what we did try of the bread, it was really good. Like good flavor. Yeah, the, the bread was like burnt, which could be the way it's supposed to be served. I'm not sure. Yeah. But what we could eat of the bread, it was delicious. And in my rating, I give it a 0.5, and the 0.5 is because of what I ate of the bread was good. But the stew itself, it just tasted so greasy. Yeah, the stew was it not was, good. It just wasn't good. The meat wasn't good. There was like, what, one potato and it was like hard, you said, right? Yeah, it was pretty hard. Yeah, we didn't, uh... That was a fail. But was. everything else was pretty good and I would recommend. Yes. But if you like, I don't know, the stew, it just seems so greasy. I also think, I mean, we did this at the end of the day. So if you got it when it's fresh, it might have been a lot better. This is true. Like we could have gotten the, the bottom of the barrel. That's why it was like, mm -hmm. just like the leftover like grease. I, I don't know how else to explain it. But, but yeah, unfortunately we just, we couldn't. Yeah. Unfortunately we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't eat it, we couldn't finish it. But overall, you know, as we always say, like, if these are items that sound good to you, try them. Absolutely. This is, you know, food that we, like, never have, right. pretty much, other than, like, the mashed potatoes. And you yeah. occasionally will have a sausage of some kind. Oh, but... yeah. Yeah. I love hot sausage. Yes. So, overall, really good. Yeah. And we definitely have more booths to try very soon. So, I'm Jackie. And I'm Heather. And, and it's, it's been, been lovely. lovely. Bye. Bye.